Cześć, witam Was serdecznie w kolejnym wywiadzie, w kolejnej rozmowie z Polyglot Gathering. Dzisiaj ze mną jest Lina Vasquez. A... Cześć. Tak. Introduce yourself, maybe, at the beginning. Who are you? Because you are an amazing person of many talents and <laughs> you do a I'm lot so of humbled. things. I'm so humbled, honestly. It's so strange. Well, I'm Lina Vasquez and we are at the Polyglot Gathering. So obviously mm -hmm. I'm interested in languages and what can I say? I have a YouTube channel called The Busy Linguist. Yeah, you can check this out uh, in the description down below or somewhere there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And we also now have a new channel. Have you heard of our new channel? About Double German. Dutch. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, I, well, I try to because I don't speak mm. any German and like actually I understand German because yeah. I, I, well, I wouldn't say I learned it in in high school. I attended the classes, mm. uh, so <laughs> I understand it. I have I have really good. It, yeah. So. So I, I watched a few videos, mm -hmm. they are really cool. I would like to meet uh, Ed as well. So, yeah, Ed yeah. is here, Ed is around. Ed is here already? Yeah. Okay, because I didn't see him. We were working on a new video before. Ah, okay, so, yes. Um, yeah, other than that, I travel a lot because I have a language teaching business and I also, so yeah, I run the two YouTube channels or mm -hmm. co-run it with Ed. And what else? I'm interested in fitness, I'm interested in psychology. Um, I studied law, I think that's something studied that... Studied or you studied still? Studied, I okay. did. So, so I we finished. Um, I paused it, okay. but I'm going to continue Get it. it. But, yeah, the um, same with me, I also studied law hmm. for a while. So So yeah, I really like law actually, mm -hmm. so it's kind of, I took a pause to focus on kind of building an online business and then mm -hmm. want to go back to it and go into like foreign affairs and diplomacy. So. You, s you told me that you uh, teach languages, which languages do you teach? Um, so I used to teach French, Spanish, German and English and now I mm -hmm. just focus on German. Just it's German, kind of, yeah. okay. Because you are not native German. No, but I studied German studies and to be honest, I think, so I lived like the last three years basically in German. And mm -hmm. it was funny because English is obviously like one of my strongest languages, aka my native language, mm -hmm. however you want to define native yeah. language. <laughs> but um, I kind of, because I studied German so intensively and I studied, like I did a part of my studies from law in German, mm -hmm then it kind of actually, there was a point where my German was a bit better than my English. Okay. Which was strange, because I, like, I returned to Australia and I saw my mom and she was like, you can't even speak English anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, that's like a funny, funny life. Funny part of life of a polyglot. Exactly. That's, that sometimes the language you, you never expected to, to be as high as your native one becomes mm. the, almost a native one. I had the same when I lived in Georgia and uh, I like I spoke to other people mm -hmm. in English mostly and I came I came back to Poland and and then I, I was like well I could speak Polish but sometimes I missed something or yeah. I could better yeah. s say what I mean express myself in English mm -hmm. which I was know really what you cool. Mean, yeah. Totally, yeah. Totally. So uh, the thing I would like to ask I'm really interested in mm -hmm. that because uh, your newest project as a language learner is uh, Portuguese I think yes yes uh, um, so because it's like you speak like you learn uh, Brazilian Portuguese yes. yeah uh, and what I actually spot um, mm -hmm. on the internet is that when someone speaks Belaru uh, sorry Brazilian Portuguese Brazilians are so <laughs> active yes. and be below the yes. videos in commentaries. Very this is true. Like, very true. They are everywhere. Like I don't speak Brazilian uh, any Portuguese mm -hmm. myself. I would like to one day, but it's a matter of time. Step by uh, step. Yeah, step. yeah. But uh, just like, is it? Do you find it like motivating when? hundreds of people just comment on your videos <laughs> in the language that you just started to, to approach? Um, motivating is an interesting word to put in it. I think it, it definitely does encourage you because you mm -hmm. see that people, you're getting good feedback back on what you're doing. I think, like, I guess, yeah, if, if people, like, for example, I also started learning Swedish, but mm -hmm. it didn't progress that much. I think um, the fact that, yeah, people are interested in, in what I do when, like, more Brazilians um, kind of comment and write to me, I think that also gives me a big opportunity to practice because mm -hmm. I can honestly say that a lot of my Portuguese progress came from just replying to people's comments. Okay. And like also on Instagram, when I post Instagram stories, the majority is people asking me, when are you coming to Brazil? When did you start learning Brazilian Portuguese? Mm -hmm. Do you like Brazil? It's all about Brazil. Okay. Um, <laughs> I also have a, a lot of friends who are Brazilians and I think that also kind of ties in with, with having a Brazilian community follow me. Because one of my closest friends, Gabriel Poliglota, mm -hmm has a YouTube channel in Brazil. Mm -hmm. 
So he has over a hundred thousand subscribers, yeah. and a, we did a couple of videos together, and they all like flocked and then, from. And yeah, they emigrated from his <laughs> yeah. from his videos from his channel to yours. So yeah, which is like yeah, that's that's like that's an interesting fact because okay, I, I don't speak like any of such languages, but I think mm -hmm. well, Turkish is also one that yeah. also actually incent like is an incentive for 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 locals for natives. Mm -hmm. uh, well, with my Belarusian, it's also kind of cool because I have my channel in Polish mostly uh, but I also put some videos in in Belarusian and also a lot of Belarusian come in and mm -hmm. probably they are watching this video as well <laughs> and yeah that's just like uh, yeah very interesting that that you can be kind of you can split into the community mm -hmm. but not as a member more exactly. like a star yeah, it's like very true. That's very true. <laughs> okay Lina so you are as well um, a member of organizing uh, organizing crew of this event that uh, there, there is a, about 700 more than 700 people uh, how is it to be an organizer of such a huge event okay to be honest I'm on the organizing team mm -hmm. but the head organizers are really the ones all in charge of this like okay. Yitka, Peter and Dorota like everything has to go to them so mm -hmm. in the team like I think we started having like our team calls in January or February, I think it was February, and then like we would have, we have different teams, so different mm -hmm. people are obviously responsible for different for things, different. Um, and it's like where the majority of the influx of people that has come this year is really from the marketing, so <laughs> I was on the marketing team with uh, Gabriel and Yitka, and Gabriel has like a digital marketing agency, mm -hmm. so he really got a lot of the, the okay. sponsors for the event. So my role was the social media, so posting on Instagram, getting people into it on Instagram and Facebook. So um, I think, yeah, there, like it is, coordinating anything is a difficult thing, but um, I think especially the people that were here, like locals in Bratislava, they organized the majority of everything. Okay. But there's a lot of stuff, like lots of little things that I think people don't see, like, you know, even mm -hmm. getting enough of these lanyards yeah, and like badges. Any materials like advertising. Exactly. And for 700 people, like, like chapeau, hats <laughs> off to everyone who like, you know, like organizing the food, mm -hmm. organizing yeah. technology, um, the camera crew. Yeah, because I think everything. all the talks this year are recorded, or yeah. almost all. Yeah. This is like this. This has changed according to the previous years. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But yeah, for sure. And then you know you have the workshops as well. Yeah. Some are like one hour. Some are two hours. Um, yeah, I think it's actually quite fun for me because. This is my very first polyglot gathering, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, it's so mine as well, but yeah. I thought you are already no. like a veteran of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Um, I went to the conference last mm -hmm. year, though. So the gathering, I think it was really cool. Like, Yitka asked me, hey, do you want to help out? I was like, yes, I want to, like, <laughs> if it's my first time, I'm going to be all in. And it's really nice to kind of have a double experience almost. Like, you know, I'm sitting there in the organizer's room and really getting, like, firsthand, um, I guess, experience mm -hmm. on what actually goes behind the scenes whilst also still having the chance to enjoy the first gathering yeah that that's true okay that's that's really really nice i mean i i really thought you are here for like fourth time or, or no 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 oh, okay so, that's so you told me your recent project is brazil and portuguese but do you have any other languages planned for the future and when would you start them <laughs> That is a very good question. To be honest, I don't really plan mm -hmm. when I'm gonna learn a language. Like Portuguese, I kind of started, to be honest, in 2017, like end of 2017, I just started learning a few phrases. But I never really officially said, hey, this is my next project for the next two years. Mm -hmm. um, my interest comes always from like people that I meet, like Swedish from the, like I met Frederick last year mm -hmm. at the conference, and I was like, you know what? Swedish is a nice language. Okay. Um, my goal for now with languages is I really just want to get all of the languages that I speak or I'm kind of learning to a high level because mm -hmm. I've always believed, or well, that's just my kind of view, it's not for everyone, but I, when I speak a language I really want to speak it, like I want mm -hmm. to be able to practically be like a native speaker, um, which is why you know I went through university and studied French yeah. and German and Spanish and Italian and whatever. Um, so my next goal for definitely the next year is to just get the languages that I speak to a high level and then I want to I think take on another challenge and learn like either Mandarin or Arabic Whoa. so take it to the next level so, so like not normal language I mean not European not a, not a not, normal not, not language, yeah, normal not language. language. okay so that, that's interesting so good luck 
and yeah, thank you for thank you. Yeah, dziękuję. Very good. Dziękuję. Link do kanału Liny możecie znaleźć w opisie, ewentualnie gdzieś tu wam się wyświetli w tym momencie. Ja wam dziękuję i do zobaczenia w kolejnym filmiku. Cześć. Cześć.